So sometimes you got to know when it's best to throw in the towel. And um, I made some boo-boos yesterday, so all I could think about when I, last night, um, when I thought about this painting and the silks, was how can I fix it? Um, it's, it's not so much the whole painting, but it's the shirt. It's his shirt. It's Jamie, I believe it's, sorry. It's his shirt. And um, this is throwing the whole painting off for me. And a few years ago, what I used to do, what I learned to do, actually, was to just kind of keep adding on paint. And uh, no one ever said, it's OK to call it quits, or to wipe something down, or just say, this isn't working. You know, I was taught, you have to keep trying. You have to keep at it. You have to keep at it. Well, you know, you can only pick at a scab for so long before it becomes a gigantic scar. And, eating away at you, so, or it gets infected, and horrible things happen, you have to, you know, have your arm cut off, or whatever, so, it, you know, instead of waiting for this gigantic mess to eat me alive, and have the whole painting sucked into his shirt, which it's, it, we are well on our way to having that happen, um, I'm just going to wipe it down, but I also wanted to talk a little bit about when it's a good idea to throw in the towel on something. Well, I'm doing that, and you'll have to excuse me. It's about 10 degrees outside, which means it's about 12 degrees in here. So I've got a space heater going, and I have one, two, three, four, four long sleeves, layers on, and gloves, and a couple pairs of socks, so that, and the hat, and I'm all wrapped up. It's really cold. Um, hoping that changes soon. But anyway, uh, yeah, back to knowing when it's a good idea to throw in the towel on something. A number of years ago, I was diagnosed with something called RSD, reflex sympathetic dystrophy syndrome. And it, it was a result of injuries I, I sustained at work. I tore the tendons off of both of my elbows, and I had carpal tunnel so bad I couldn't feel my hands for a year. Uh, that was a result of working at Trader Joe's and working under really vicious boss, really bad circumstances. I worked myself into such a dither every day that I literally ripped the tendons off my elbows. I shredded my, the nerves in my arms and my, my, all the, the tendons and muscles. I'm not supposed to be able to paint again. That's what they kept telling me. And really, it took me several years to be able to do it again, to be able to hold a brush without having it stuck in a glove, in my sleeve, and possibly taped to my hand. And angling, like, you know, uh, it, it's taken me several years, but as you can see, I'm able to do it again. Well, at, before I got sick, I was very active. I was physically active. I did martial arts. Um, I worked out at the gym all the time. I was one of those crazy nutcases that you see where they're always there and like grunting. and. You know, I'm doing Rocky, you know, I'm running, look at me. I actually really liked working out, and I loved martial arts, and I loved competing. But it's not something I can do anymore. You know, after, after uh, the four surgeries they did on my hands and arms uh, that semi-repaired me, semi-repaired my, my, you know, hands and stuff, uh, <laughs> I did try working out. I did try riding a bike, riding bikes, stationary bike. I own stationary bike. I went to the gym. I tried. I really tried, and I couldn't do it. And I kept trying till last year. Uh, I think it was last year. Anyway, I worked with personal trainers, and I did my best to get my body to a level where I found acceptable and was really hoping to get to get my body to a place where other people would find it acceptable because it's very important that we all look like Heidi Klum. I'm, I'm not really sure that, you know, someone who's almost 50 look like they're 20. I, I, I'm not really sure why, but we're all supposed to pretend that we're, you know, younger. So if you're 20, you actually look like you're 12 and go something like that. Anyway, um, I was really working hard to get my weight down to fighting level again, not like I was gonna fight, but uh, fighting level again. 
And I was also working to try and lose some weight to make myself more attractive, so not only could I sell the artwork, but I could sell me along with it. Well, I kind of had to make a decision. I had to throw in the towel on that. I'm almost 50. I can't lift weights. There's whole days with because of the RSD or CRPS, whatever you want to call it, RSD, CRPS, which is chronic uh, pain syndrome, something. Um, there's a lot of days I can't walk. It takes me several hours to be able to walk around my house without using the walls to hold on to. Um, it's, CRPS actually spreads throughout your whole body. It's constant pain, it's never ending, it's just in degrees. My skin burns, this is very hard for me to do, wearing all these clothes, because it's so cold. I have to, but it hurts. Um, socks hurt, I can feel all the, every fiber and every piece of clothing I have on right now that's touching my skin. But it can, the, the nervous system is confused where if I bump my finger, I'll lose feeling in my feet. Um, I'll bump my toe and lose feeling in my face or it'll start burning. Burning, burning, burning inside and out. I've lost feeling and sensation almost in my entire head, right up to up my throat, down my throat, blah, 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 blah. So I had to decide, and it's exhausting. And I'm exhausting anyway. I don't need more help I'm exhausting myself, but I had to make a decision. Do I want to keep working out and pretending that one day I'm going to wake up and look better than I did when I was actually 20? Or, you know, pretending that one day, yes, I will look pre-baby beautiful. I was never beautiful. I looked like me. So I, I had to make a decision. Am I going to put my energy into that? Into something, yes, I happen to love, which is exercise. Or am I going to put my energy into painting? Like everything else in my life, I've had to give up for painting. I gave up exercise. I love exercise. I love the way it feels. But if I work out, or when I work out for 45 minutes or an hour, it'll take me a day, two days, three days to recoup. The heat's coming on, which means we won't be able to do this for much longer. It'll get too loud. But I'm gonna, so that was a, sorry, that was throwing in the towel. I really had to throw in the towel on that and figure out what my priorities are. Uh, and right now my priorities are finishing this video because the heat's gonna come on. And wiping down his shirt. Do I keep laboring on this section because I'm gonna get it right and suddenly it's gonna look the way I want it to look? Putting all my energy into that? Or do I wipe it down bring it back to the level of all of this, go over it lightly, and put my energy into the overall painting again. That's what I'm gonna do with the ladder, is wipe it down, just say, fuck it, clean it up, start again. Just like with exercise. Well, sort of. It was supposed to tie together anyway, but it's, stop the exercise, because it was killing me. It was literally, the pain was unbelievable because of the RSD CRPS. Again, do I give that up or do I give painting up? I give that up. Do I give the shirt up or do I give up the entire painting because I have ruined this one stupid little section which I can fucking fix? Sorry for the swearing, I do that. Um, like a sailor. It's embarrassing. Anyway, I'm going to wipe down this one shirt because this one shirt is not worth it to me. The entire painting is. So that's when I'm throwing in the towel today. Ah, I'm throwing in the towel! I'm you! Me too, you striped shirt. And I'll post pictures when I've got it better. Maybe I'll make another video and show you how brilliant I have fixed this. Brilliantly I have fixed my painting of the silks. Anyway, that's it today. Throw it in the towel. <laughs> I'm that. Not on painting altogether, just that. All right, ciao.